Death 19. Death Fell 19. into black hole. Ran out of gas. Suffocated. For those of us who are counting with actual numbers, yes, death 19. It is not death 19, it's death 3. Um, James is exaggerating. So, where is the White Hole Station? <gasps> I need to know an easy way to get there. Yeah, I do. Interloper, giant, brittle, dark bramble. Bog Devil Thirteen is asking for your stream timing. Stream timings. Uh, like when do I stream? I assume so. Uh, I stream uh, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday at seven p.m. Central. I do currently have the Twitch uh schedule set up, so that should, if you look at it, auto. Uh, fill in what your time zone is, but due to life and work and other things, I may not always be able to stream, and because I'm bad at Twitter, I don't actually have a easy way to inform people of whether a stream is or isn't happening, but currently, if it says a stream is happening that day, it should be happening that day. Wait, what is that thing? Fly Unless, up. of course, it's the guy he's playing with forgets about this, and then doesn't show up. <laughs> I'm not bad at spaceships, I swear. Oh my god. So the, if you're counting, that's death four. So that one does count. I, I should mark the ones that <laughs> do actually count. God, I can't believe... Like, I have two whole streams of me just not being bad at piloting. I don't say a word, James. Um, and and you. this one, I'm just doing awful at it. There is <sighs> a request for you to show your ship's log when you get the chance. Uh, ship's log, yes. Show your progress so far. Oh my god, what is going on? What is this? What kind of hellhole am I in? Oh god. I can't wait to find out some seconds from now. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's the... That's oh, that's the, the planet. <laughs> yeah, okay, I know that now. <laughs> but... No, I, 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 I was with you. <laughs> yeah. That was a surprise to me. I was not expecting, like... I, I thought he fell into another space anomaly. Do you do... Oh, nope. Nope. Wait, that kind of looks like a... Why? 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 Bog Devil 13 says, Bruh, just use autopilot. Some scientists spent years perfecting it. And Empty Spring says, in quotes, perfecting. <laughs> uh, yeah, autopilot's not the best for me. Also, this looks like another distress beacon. I mean, I had. manual pilot isn't... batting a thousand. Manual pilot is batting a million. Thank you. She's a tech oxygen tank. Okay, so... No. This thing. Escape pod. Cool. Oh, hi. What are you? Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. Uh, this is good news, at least. Have you heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be strictly or strategically intact. Structurally intact. Wow, words. Uh, Felix, I'll continue calling for them. Thatch, mad gratitude. If we can, plumb. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Thatch, everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Thatch, be cautious of falling ash and debris. Plum, I believe the moon has passed. Felix, this planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. 
thatch. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. Plum. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb down safely. Uh, perhaps we can build platforms. So this is number one. I know number two is on the evil sand planet. So I have not actually found three. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Um, yeah. Begin flight log. Escape pod one vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Escape pod three. Launching escape pod two. Now launching escape pod one. Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Scanning external external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural uh, instabilities detected. Pocket of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Predict hospitable. Whee. Emergency escape hatch. Cool. Oh. Is that how he classifies the twins, evil sand planet and kind sand planet? No. <laughs> no. Uh, one planet is full of sand and it's evil, and the other one is benevolent. And I don't, because I haven't really visited it. Hi, 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 hi. Thank you. Evil sand planet and benevolent sand planet. Use caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Fun to, fun. Could have used that like, what, five, ten minutes ago? Oh, I hate this. Okay. Cool lantern. Oh, hello. They built a city in here, just like the other planet. Oh, there's a structure. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember, be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Hmm. What is that? Oh, it's a plant. Uh, oh, hello. What are you? I'm glad I'm inside. Yeah. Uh, this knowledge is far too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall about the signal we encountered aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No, no me clan has ever encountered anything like it. We can, or how can something in the universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it must offer. We might find the eye of the universe. Wait, we must find the eye of the universe. Cool. Uh, the signal looked like an eye, round with a circular circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal is looking for something. Launch scout. Yeah, sure. What are you saying? Okay, that's where the signal is. Then there's... You know, those look like brambles, like that evil, evil bramble planet. Fly up. Damn it. Oh! I'm up. Just got to not die. Down I go. Bog Devil 13 asks, how do you pronounce the name of the aliens? I call them Is Naomi. Is it no my or no me? Uh, no me. Come on, there we go. In a vacuum, I would say no my, but I'm also... Can't I'm more likely to just say what other Go on. I'm more than likely to just say whatever everyone else is saying. <laughs> uh, we wrap, or we warp to the follow, warp to follow the curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. 
Afraid of for our friends on Escape Pod 3. Uh, was the vessel unwell, unwell in some way? No. Nanoa and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Interesting. So they accidentally warped to a different location. I'm starting not to like this planet. But you know what, James? If I get hit by that moon, I'm going to call out a fair death. Um, okay. Uh, the pain of your absence is sharp and haunting, and I will give every anything not to know it. Anything but never knowing you at all, which would be worse. I can only hope that you are safe, Key. Keek? Uh, wherever you are. So... And jump. I feel like this is going to be a game where I'm going to beat it, but I'm not going to know like half the story. Because I'm going to be missing things. Uh, is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt uh, Mallory. Oh god. What I'm were falling. the other? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. No. Come on. Give me a boost. Don't you dare. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Go down. Go up. Catch it. Nice. Ha. Take that black hole. You suck. Um. Where am I? <laughs> oh, traveler. Hi. Oh, you launched. That's great. Good job, you. Or great job, you. Well, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what this civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. <laughs> Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you know? Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable, instead of being stuck sucked into what's below. And it's not that bad. Uh, I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about... Okay, had a little thing in the background. Um, that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Heh, <laughs> that'd be... yeah. Uh, where should I explore here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole. Actually, that's very no. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because um, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just the, to the north. You can see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get in from the surface, trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the uh, Nomi structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Uh, if you learn anything about the Nomi, I'd love to hear it, if it's not too much trouble. Uh, what are you doing here? I, I think I already learned that. Oh, I learned something. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, what is it? I found this cape. Yes. Wow, so then the Naomi probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system, and they must have been in trouble when they landed their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Naomi arrived here. Oh. <gasps> Jetpack fuel. How do you... Oh, look at that! Huh. So I can actually just shoot this little guy at something, you know, tell me the... Stability, good to know. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Nice. 
actually know that. That's cool. <laughs> uh, I want to go right. What's the stability of this place? 55%. That is not great. <gasps> but I can do that, and it will let me know. Okay, 24%. That's... I'm gonna take those odds. Whee! Oh, uh, what do you say? The crossroads. Do, 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 do. Scary, scary. Be welcome in this place. Above you stands the tower Quantum Knowledge. Uh, if you ever make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. What? Oh, hello. And boost. Nope, 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 nope. And boost. Okay, I didn't think that was going to work. And up we go. I imagine this is like the tower on the uh, water planet. Ability still sucks. Good to know. What do you say? Southern Observatory. Hey! I inadvertently found the place I wanted to be. I think that's saying the Southern Observatory is 500 meters in that direction. Yes. I think you were also right. Should tank refill. Oh, I, I see. Yeah. You died here once. <laughs> uh, if you're referring to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Yes, I did die here. Okay. Uh, the trees are moving. The trees are in... Wait, the trees are moving. The trees are in the groove wander about freely. The entire planet roots and all. This is not normal even for the alien planet, and I've never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observ observations here. Either these trees are uh, aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Amazingly, this isn't the only trees. There are other matters in this area, such as that unusual sharp shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. Thatch. Uh, it possesses color and textures I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. The rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing the nearby objects to also move about this area? I swear if it is that... Wait, is that the shard? Because that's like the thingy from the tower. No. Yes. Aha! Uh, Thatch, Plume, Felix, and I have determined this uh, atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in the groove are behaving in quantum manner. Thatch, the only other objects we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. Wandering moon? Imagine the moon's behavior and this groove is related. Uh, Plume, in her note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, the quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even small, small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from the shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. <gasps> I've also heard the same signal this shard produces called from the Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and uh, Hourglass Twins. Giant's Deep is the uh, water planet, which I was just at. So is there yep. other shards like this one? Okay. So that just told me I should explore those other planets, but nope, not that thing, this thing. Okay, so if I find that signal, I can find the weird moon. Got it. So... Anything in chat? Um, no shop ship log still. Nope. 
I will be doing that as soon as I die because I can't get back to my ship. Frankly, I'm surprised it took this long. To get back to my ship? No, to die. So oh. I guess yes. Rude. Fair, but rude. Uh, huzzah! Ow. So how do I get up there? Like, there should be a way, but I don't know it. Am I falling? No, thank goodness. Uh, oh well, I guess I'll go back up. Uh, I'm stuck. Skeleton. Okay, where do you go? Oh, I think they go. I think they go nowhere. Huh. Jump. Oh, my ship's over there. I don't trust this thing, so I guess I'm just gonna kind of hang out over here. Scan that, what do you say? Yeah. Hmm. Ow. <gasps> okay. Interesting. It is a lot of fun. Watching me fail. Hearing your reactions. No, just <laughs> hearing you say something. And figuring out that caused that. Okay, so I know I can do this. Cool. I wonder. Huh, because I would need to get. Nope, that didn't work. That was dumb. Ow. Hmm. Can't wait to see what happened. Excellent. Oh, oh god. What the hell? That's not fair. Yeah. Oh god. No, no, no. Oh hey, how to get in there. You know how to get in there? I remembered, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go explore this place now. an entrance on this thing. Is that a window? Please don't be a window. Oh god, it's a window, James. Chat says, run, fool, run! Yeah. Well, that's not a window. Come on. Land. I think that's how you get it. No, that has to be a window. I can get it there. You sure? Oh, you are sure. Oh my goodness. Okay, what did I just do? Oh no. Oh. Uh, oh, hello. Don't bonk my head. Uh, oh, oh god, there's gravity now. Uh, welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, yes I did, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to the brittle hollow. Okay. If your warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body, it Tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happening when the astral body is directly overhead. Oh. 
This is the warp? Okay. Where does this go, though? Oh, it's like a little, uh... Holy shit, what did I just do? Okay, go in. Did I do a bad? Oh. I don't think I did a bad. I think I just rotated this thing. Hey, you can see that rune on the other side. Now this thing is spinning. Yes, it is. And then... Ha-ha! Take that, gravity! And now that kind of explains how the teleporters work. Cool. Okay. <gasps> Jetpack fuel. Oh my goodness. Uh, field spurs spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to shelp across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. Oops. I checked with my little scout. I do, <laughs> I do too use it. Hornfell's a burnt marshmallow and the scouts integrity reading said this place of brittle hollow, hollow is as stable as any but who knows if you're still around feel free to use it if not well you're reading this note i'm sure you've got bigger problems yes what is that uh the hanging city cool. oh god i fell oh god nope stand stand thank you Uh, to our friend on Brid um, Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of the Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design work was specifically recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anna's original design, but as long as what we built works, then I'm delighted. I know we can do it. Kazanya, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate ca uh, causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the Whitehall Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Poke, don't tell Kasamfa. <laughs> I really like these names. Felix, this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Hey! Oh, I don't have a plate. I gotta find the plate. I imagine it has to be around here somewhere. And I feel like I missed it. I haven't seen one. What? I don't know, I, I haven't seen it, so it's not something... I don't know. Oh, goodness. Drop that thing. Huh. Yeah, because typically around this thing is the plate, but it might just be mm -hmm. underneath. Wait, this is going up. Oh, no. I guess I'm going to explore this other thing. Hmm. I can't go down. And jump. I don't know what this is, but it's cool. Okay. I'm still alive. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. Uh... I compliment your eyes. How could you imagine? How do you imagine it appears? Hypothesis? Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like the Violet Friend's hollow lantern? This moon isn't vi volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its. Really oh god, something happened. Oh god, don't hit me. Uh, the night. 
in circles of planet appears random, it seems to travel like something else. Then I imagine we'd be almost left. About this, there can't exist too much longer. Uh, I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Okay. Jump. I'm gonna die. Oh, okay, I didn't die. Okay, James, you want a Hail Mary? Always. Let's do this. Okay, where are you? What the heck? of oxygen remaining that's plenty of time something's happening oh god something's happening death five oh you're counting that one i mean i have to that was like a time reset the first that's actually only the third time that's happened. Um, in the first two, you uh, didn't like it. That's because I was doing something. Ship log. Yes, I Thank know. Thank you, Devil. I know. I'm going for it. Don't worry. I was doing it. That was actually what the Hail Mary was about. Ah. Yeah, the Hail Mary was to get to my ship, and then I was going to check the ship log real quick before flying off somewhere.